HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. An HTML file is simply a plain text file which can easily be written by a human being and can also easily be understood by any web browser. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. To create a simple HTML file, follow the next couple of steps. Start up a simple text editor and create a new file. For example, on Windows you could use Notepad. I'm on Linux so I'm going to use gedit. Save the file as simplepage.html in a convenient folder on your hard drive. Add the following text. Find the file and open it up with your favorite web browser. Tile the text editor and the web browser side by side on the monitor. You should get a result similar to this. You have probably noticed a few interesting things. The file starts with a bracket, HTML bracket, and ends with the same except with a backslash in front of the HTML part. These are examples of tags. The first tag without the backslash is a starting tag. The tag with the backslash is an ending tag. Everything between these two tags is HTML code. When we view this file with a browser, we only see the text between the two tags, and we don't see the two tags themselves. Next, modify the text by adding another pair of tags, then refresh the browser. Can you see what the tags b and slash b have done? That's right, they've made the text between the two of them bold. Next, let's modify the file like this. Got them all? Here is a summary. Head. Everything between these two tags is information about the web page without being part of the web page itself. All sorts of information can be put here. For example, in this case, I put the title of the web page. Browsers usually put the title of the web page up here in the tab. We also have these two body tags. Everything between these two tags is part of the body or the main part of the web page, which contains the content of the web page. H1 signifies that the text between these two tags is a heading. One is the most important type of heading, but you also have less important headings like heading 2, heading 3, etc. P signifies that the text is a paragraph. U signifies that the text should be underlined, and I signifies that the text should be in italics. And basically that's all there is to it to HTML. All it really is is a simple text file with special tags to tell the browser about special formatting. In fact, there are a huge number of tags in HTML, and you can do all sorts of things like change the background color, add pictures, add web links, and stuff like that. But if you use a drag and drop web offering tool like Bootstrap Studio, you don't need to know any of those. If you're curious though, if you have an inquisitive mind, you, I recommend the website www.freeschools.com. It has some pretty useful interactive lessons which help you to learn more about HTML. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now, see you in the next video. Bye bye.